Hello everyone, very very good afternoon to all the viewers of An Academy Law. This is Kushagr Goel, your educator for the CLAT examination. So on January 20th, we have a exciting, important stuff to discuss. But also, as we are now progressing towards the budget session of the parliament, the focus will now shift towards the economic policy that India will have. Okay. So regularly now we will have one or the other article that will deal with economics or economic policy of India. So your focus should also now be to understand those issues and try to interconnect and relate them. Because one thing that we do know is CLAT will definitely have at least five marks from economic related concepts. So that is why you cannot skip it. Very good afternoon to you Priyanshu and to everyone else who have tuned in live. So economic policy will now slowly become the fulcrum of what all that we will be discussing or reading in the newspaper. There will also be news picking up of now as we get closer to the examination international politics is also heating up during the as the summer now comes around okay usually winter time is when there is a lull in international politics because there is Christmas festivities and all of this that happens in the western countries but international politics starts picking up so we will now be concluding stories from different different areas we'll be trying to understand all of them so this will be the crux of what you should expect from the coming weeks in your newspaper on that note, let's begin the newspaper analysis. Very, very good afternoon to you, Anushka, Shubham, Sandeep. Now, before I begin, I once again want to highlight, if you are someone who is looking for dedicated assistance for your CLAT examination, the prices of our courses are about to go up. So please ensure that you do not miss out on discounts as, of, as things stand and make the best use of it. No point waiting until the last moment. And in terms of my three month GK syllabus also, we have made significant progress. So if you do not want to lose out any further, I suggest that you subscribe to the syllabus at the earliest. And do not forget that today, based on the events that we discussed in the newspaper yesterday, I will be taking the third part of our quiz which will happen at 1.15 on the learners app. So immediately after our newspaper analysis, we will be doing this. If you are someone who does not have the learners app, please download it and keep it handy with you. The quiz begins at 1.15. Okay, this will be based on yesterday's newspaper. On that note, let's begin the newspaper analysis. So as part of recovery post the COVID-19 second wave, there were multiple petitions filed in the Supreme Court to provide ex gratia payment. That COVID-19 was determined as a natural disaster. So the Supreme Court ordered that every person who passed away because of COVID-19, the next of kin who The next of kin or people who are survivors are eligible to receive 50,000 rupees as a ex gratia amount from the state governments. But different state governments have not yet processed this. An entire year has almost passed in the COVID wave and yet the payments have not been made yet. So now this news is about regarding dispersal of the ex gratia amount for COVID-19 deceased. Okay. This is the news in this regard. What this also does is it will provide us with the actual number of how many people have died. For example, the actual figures of death in Gujarat because of COVID-19 stands around 10,000. But the state government has already accepted claims of up to 58,000 individuals who passed away because of COVID-19. So it shows that, for example, in Gujarat, it's almost six times the number of official. So if we are to ever know how many people we have lost 
as our countrymen to the COVID-19 pandemic. It is through this figures also, all right? Can I repeat? Repeat. So this news on your front page, okay? Is a news COVID deaths, Supreme Court to steer payments. What had happened? Everyone who passed away because of COVID-19, petitions were filed that they should be provided with a certain lump sum amount for their family members because this was a natural disaster. No one, nobody had anticipated it. Nobody thought it will come. So the court arrived that 50,000 should be given to those who have passed away. The next of kin, the surviving member of the family should be given 50,000 from the state. Now, state governments were responsible for acceptance of claims, but they have been slow in acceptance of these demands. So now the Supreme Court will directly head the process of payment. So if there is any person who has passed away because of COVID-19, their family members are eligible to receive 50,000 from the state. Those claims will be made. The verification will be done by the state government and the payments will now be done by the Supreme Court itself. Okay, so this is the news on the front page. What we have to remember is the amount, who will it be given and why it is being given because COVID has been recognized as a natural disaster by the Supreme Court. Okay. Usually, for example, Abhi, uh, if there is an avalanche, there is a landslide, there are floods. In that regard, the state provides assistance to those who pass away because of natural calamities or disaster. COVID-19, the state, India or Indian government recognized it under the same heading. So if you are recognizing it under the same heading, you have to provide assistance also, which is the 50,000 assistance that will be given. All right. Then we come to the other front page news. On the left hand side is all about political news. We don't have to bother who is contesting from where. None of it is relevant for us. What is relevant for us is a headline here. States weigh options on IAS CADA rule changes. IAS officers are selected and entered into job by the union government. But they pick up the cadre based on where their ranking is and their own choice. Now there are two kinds of deputation that a IAS officer or a central agency officer can take. One is its state cadre and the other is central deputation. Matlab Bharat Sarkar ke under directly kaam karna. If a IAS officer, one, his or her consent is required and second, the state government's cadre in which he or she is working, their consent was also required. But the union government had been facing a lot of shortage of IAS officers post 2014. This had been a common theme. IAS officers are reluctant to take deputation at the central government. They prefer to stay in their state cadres. Now they cannot be forced, but now the government is making a change to the rules. This is what the news is about. That Department of Personal and Training states that the consent of the state will be taken away. So if the central government wants, they can now pick and choose their officers. The most obvious solution to shortage of officers could have been creation of more jobs providing more number of IAS officers appointments. But since 2013, year on year, the number of vacancies for under UPSC exam has consistently reduced, which has led to a shortage because people are retiring but not joining the service in the same numbers. All right. But the solution has been found by taking away the consent of the state. So once again, it has become a position of federal nature. Ki can you actually take away the power of the states to have their own officers? Which is the question on the right hand side. Okay. Now, is this news relevant from our exam point of view? Particularly not. Okay. This can be relevant from the perspective of constitution. Ki IAS officers, kaun hote? Where, what is it? They are appointed by a constitutional body, which is the UPSC. 
So we'll talk about that at the end because there is another thing from the constitution that you all have to note down today. So I will be pointing out that, right? Before that, two other questions. Sir, for current affairs, the Hindu newspaper is enough or we have to do another source? If yes, please recommend the source. The Hindu newspaper is good enough to cover your entire news process, okay? For example, yesterday there was one news item that was not picked up in the Hindu newspaper. In the quiz, I covered it as part of free classes. So, whatever current affairs ka point hai, which has to be taught to all of you, we the Hindu newspaper is more or less good enough. Okay, you don't have to scramble for multiple newspapers. The Hindu will cover most of it. A simple fact is that let's say if you pick up any other newspaper daily. Let's say Indian Express उठाते हो या फिर आप Times of India, Hindustan Times उठाते हो. Look at the number of pages that they actually have for national news and editorial. The Hindu has the highest number. Also, if you look at the reporters in the Indian Express who are publishing stories there, you will also note that most of those authors are also writing for the Hindu. So if there is any international news that you have to study, it will be covered in the Hindu. So you will not miss out anything there. Okay. Very good afternoon to you, Vipul, Muskan, Nishtha. Okay, so now we come to the next news on the last. New Haryana law may hit job growth stakeholders. This is about 75% reservation to local residents in private jobs. Okay, or in private jobs. 75% reservation for local residents. This is a law that has now come into force in Haryana. And this is the one that is creating jitters. One thing to be noted down is in our constitution, that is in the constitutional framework, we do not have any concept of residence. We only have the concept of citizens of India. All right. This is now because states are facing shortage of jobs, they cannot create enough jobs, they are looking inwards. Instead of creating new jobs, they are forcing wherever the jobs are, you are forcing reservation in that regard. Okay, original idea of reservation as B.R. Ambedkar had pointed out was for affirmative action. Socially disadvantaged people ko assist karne ke liye tha. It was about social justice. None of reservations idea was actually to cover up your policy initiative. If you cannot create enough jobs where people are unable to find jobs, it is a policy problem or an economic problem and not a social justice problem. Remember, in our constitution, what you have to remember is reservation was always a concept of affirmative action. for the principle of social justice. Okay, this is the understanding of reservation in the constitution originally. Now state governments to cover up their policy deficiencies are using reservation wherever they can to avoid frustration of the people from building up. All right. Nothing beyond this. Then we move on. On the national news, nothing of note. Uh, <clears throat> revised plan of different cities, not of note for us. Okay. Then we come to the none of these. So, for example, one of the type of news that students ask is if the official students, they official constitutional position speak something in the newspaper or at a conclave. Do we have to make a note of all those conclaves? No. All right. If there is something of significant, we will talk about it, but it is not of real concern. All right. So until and unless it's something important, you do not have to note about it. Okay. Then we come to the editorial section. All right. 
सो ऑन द लेफ्ट ऑल इन द फ्रे गोवा पोल्स विल बी रिलेटिवली न्यू कंटेंडर्स अगेंस्ट एस्टैब्लिश पार्टीज द फ्रेज आया राम गया राम वॉज यूज इन द सेंस की ओरिजिनली हैपेंड और कॉइंड इन हरियाणा वेर देर वॉज अ एम एल ए हु शिफ्टेड पार्टी इन द मॉर्निंग बाई द इवनिंग ही वॉज बैक इन इज ओरिजिनल पोलिटिकल पार्टी गोवा हैज अ वेरी स्मॉल पॉपुलेशन बट हैज ह्यूज इकोनॉमिक वैल्यू इन गोवा इट हैज बीन वेरी कॉमन फॉर लेजिस्लेटर्स टू कीप ऑन शिफ्टिंग फ्रॉम वन पोलिटिकल पार्टी टू अनादर वेर एवर देयर पोलिटिकल फेवर लाइज बिकॉज पीपल वोट देयर फॉर बेसिकली द पर्सन एंड नॉट पोलिटिकल पार्टीज बट नाउ रिजेंटमेंट इज बिल्डिंग अप सो द एडिटोरियल टॉक्स अबाउट वन ऑफ दैट द सेकेंड थिंग इट टॉक्स अबाउट इज हाउ टू न्यू पोलिटिकल पार्टीज हैव एंटर्ड द फ्री दैट इज टी एम सी एंड आम आदमी पार्टी हुव ऑल्सो कंटेस्टिंग इन गोवा Traditionally, it has never had a majority party rule that one party gets a comprehensive number of seats. Ki out of the total seats, seventy-five percent seats go to one party. Traditionally, that has not happened in Goa. It has always had fractured mandates, parties falling short of the majority mark, which is twenty-one in Goa. So this is the editorial about that. Not relevant for us at all. ठीक है <clears throat> then second technology tangent this is something that has recently become important it is about how because of installation of 5g technology okay airline operations have suffered in america and at different airports okay so recently yesterday there was news about air india suspending flights to usa more suspension of flights in us aircraft why is this happening is because the 5g technology uses the same radio frequencies which aircrafts use to co connect with the air traffic controller so while these services are being installed the radio frequencies are not segregated and there cannot be a pause in these radio frequencies because they will be requiring continuous access to ensure that connection is installed so while this is happening aircrafts have been suspended or they have not flying to and fro america all right now there have been some countries that have already laid down or are now working efficiently with the 5g technology that is south korea china japan and several western european countries this is talking about the trouble in america one because they have been unable to provide for two things one use the time when flight connectivity was weak during the covid waves to install the 5g the second solution is to retrofit aircrafts with the technology to avoid conflict with 5g radio signals so for example if you fly in india you will be asked to keep your phone on airplane mode and use or connect to the aircraft wifi wherever there are aircrafts that permit internet connection that is primarily because the signals from your phone can affect the radio connection of the pilot with the air traffic controller now with 5g that interconnection or trouble in connection can happen at a far greater rate which is the trouble that the article is pointing out there are two solutions to it either you make the 5g connection weak which france has done around the airports or you retrofit the aircrafts so you will have to provide assistance to airlines both those things have not been done in america because of which aircrafts are not flying in or flying out this is the key now what you all need to note is 5g fifth generation telecommunication services uses c band radio spectrum that's all okay uske alawa we don't have to bother much in relation to this topic okay if aircrafts are safe we will not be asked ki what should be the optimum policy that india should adopt while 
अडोप्टिंग फाइव जी टेक्नोलॉजी अराउंड एयरपोर्ट्स हमसे ये नहीं पूछा जाएगा एग्जाम में ना हमें ये पता होना चाहिए ऑल राइट इट्स समथिंग दैट द साइंटिस्ट हैव टू डू वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर अ लॉ एग्जाम ओके सो दीज आर द टू थिंग्स नाउ वी कम टू द मेन एडिटोरियल वॉट व्लादिमिर पुतिन रियली वॉन्ट्स वेस्ट के नॉट इग्नोर अ डिटर्मिन रशिया एनी मोर एज मॉस्को प्रिपेयर फॉर इट्स नेक्स्ट एक्ट दिस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट रशियाज इन सिक्योरिटी सो एज आई एक्सप्लेन दिस टू यू आई विल यूज द बोर्ड ओके एंड एज आई यूज दैट आई विल टेक अ मिनट ऑफ योर टाइम टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ इफ देर इज सम वन हु इज वॉचिंग मी फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम सो आई एम कुशाग्र गोयल अ ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम नेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी मास्टर्स इन इकोनॉमिक्स एव असिस्टेड स्टूडेंट्स टू अचीव ए आई आर फोर ए आई आर सिक्सटीन क्लैट ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड प्लस क्लैट सेलेक्शंस एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट विद मी और एक्सेस द नोट्स देन यू शुड कनेक्ट ऑन द लिंक बी आई टी डॉट एल वाई स्लैश के यू एस एस जी के नोट्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट ऑल क्लासेस इज अवेलेबल ऑन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल वेर यू ऑल कैन ज्वाइन इट इज अ पब्लिक ग्रुप द लिंक टू इट इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स और यू कैन सर्च इट थ्रू दिस लिंक ऑल्सो विच इज कुशाग्र गोयल द लीगल गेम अंडर स्कोर अन अकैड नाउ वी कम टू द मैप ऑल राइट सो when we mention the word insecurity what does it really mean why do countries create borders or why do we have border security the reason for border security is to keep ourselves safe right so that we can sleep soundly in the night that's the common theme right similarly having missiles having armed forces provides you with this security okay now india is naturally endowed with a border with china we have the himalayas which act as a frontier if any army has to come from china they will not have a very easy ride because they will have to cross the himalayan frontier every part of himalayan board of himalayas acts as a natural frontier for india but why do we have so much security with pakistan because we do not have a natural frontier with pakistan the partition created a false border between india and pakistan naturally there was no border there were common societies who had lived together shared relationship for thousands of centuries all right so now suddenly we had a frontier so we built barbed wires there same with bangladesh we have a very porous border there now with russia the problem is that they do not have any natural frontier at all all right so this article is talking about why russia is pushing into ukraine or pressing into or wants nato to stop its expansion in the east okay so this is the map of europe all right and this is the countries that surround russia okay historically most of the prominent cities of russia are located in western europe okay moscow st petersburg all the countries are on the west if you are an enemy if you want to capture or defeat russia all you have to do is enter into the front line and then you have a clear run to the capital of russia so historically whenever there has been a russian ruler what they have tried to do is create a buffer zone between them and the countries they feel threatened by so the article lists out why historically what has russia done so one of the most famous rulers of russia was the queen of russia all right catherine the great she was the first one to capture territories in western europe to actually create a border between moscow and other western capitals such as berlin or france or paris or london okay that was her
plan. In this article, Vladimir Putin is trying to do exactly the same. Okay, it talks about two scenarios. First is the world of 1991. Until 1991, Russia, along with countries here, okay, had something known as the USSR. USSR was nothing but a larger territory of rulers from Moscow. Kremlin controlled all the power. All the power of USSR was located in the capital, which was Moscow. One of the reasons for disintegration was also because these countries, they felt that Russia had too much power in comparison to the other provinces of USSR, which led to the disintegration of USSR in 1991. When USSR was disintegrating, a promise was issued. A promise was made by NATO countries that they will not expand eastward. NATO's border till then existed until this part. Okay, There was a, you could say, an imaginary line of Western Europe and Eastern Europe. But since 1999, NATO has been expanding westward. We have newspaper analysis in the newspaper analysis. That what happened in 1999, Eastern countries such as the Balkan states, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, they became members of NATO. And that has been ongoing. The tussle between Russia and US and other NATO countries today is about Ukraine. Why Ukraine? Because if you are able to reach Ukraine and you already have your missiles until Turkey, Turkey is also a member of NATO, the difference or the range between the border and the majority cities is 160 kilometers. That's all. So if you pregnate the border, Russia can be defeated in a day. That was the plan of Adolf Hitler also. He thought he, because he had invaded Poland, he will break through the lines and reach uh, Moscow over a week. He had already reached St. Petersburg and he, the second most important city was captured by the Nazis. But they were unable to reach Moscow, which was the aim of the Nazis. So, Russian insecurity is what is driving Putin into the conflict with NATO. All right. So this article is to talk about that insecurity. That insecurity is no codified in a doctrine known as defensive aggression. If we have to defend and you defend aggressively. So if there is, for example, a bottom line that you set for yourself, ki I will never study less than 10 hours per day. So that's your defensive position. Ki this is my bottom line. I will defend it aggressively. Even if there is a friend's birthday, even if uh, my parents' anniversary is there, there is my cousin brother's birthday, I will not attend any of this. Thus, ghante to I will study. So that's my defensive position. And if you say no to people to protect your time period of 10 hours every day to study, you are aggressively defending your position. That is the security doctrine of Russia to leave or move away from its insecurity. That is what this editorial is all about. It is talking about different, different time period, how Russia has tried to ensure its defensive aggression. Recently, they have done it first in Belarus, okay, then in Kazakhstan, then in Armenia and Azerbaijan in 2020, in Kazakhstan, Russia sent troops to curb down the protest because look at the size of Kazakhstan border with Russia. If Kazakhstan is controlled by a country or a leader who is anti-Russia, then that can create security problems. Similarly with Azerbaijan, Armenia and now Ukraine is that frontier. Okay, so this is what the editorial is talking about. 
which uh, so anadi has a question sir which part is purple first it was of ukraine and now it has russia am i right near kutch the part that was earlier ukraine and now became part of russia is crimea okay this is the black sea it is a landlocked sea historically russian rulers had total control over the black sea but now they do not have the same so to ensure that they do not lose further control in 2014 they annexed crimea okay it also talks about why putin can as a russian economy size if you look at it in comparison to nato there is a huge gap all right yet russia is able to bully the western countries into submission all right why is that so because of the military strength of russia and secondly russia knows that western countries cannot afford to go to war with russia us already could not even defeat the taliban in afghanistan what chances do they really stand to defeat russia in any of the positions that they are unaware of all right so this is the key article that it is talking about then the next one is democratize and empower the city governments this is a policy suggestion article that says ki india ke andar kya hota hai urban development ke liye koi real policy nahi hai all right our cities or the real power in our cities lies with district magistrates and not with the mlas or the ward leaders that you have two reasons because mlas ke paas they have no financial फ्रीडम टू डिसाइड अपॉन द पॉलिसी सेकेंड जो हमारे यहाँ सिटी काउंसिल होती है उनकी बजटिंग भी बहुत वीक होती है अब हमें पॉलिसी से लेना देना नहीं हमारा फोकस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन से ऑल राइट सो दो बातें हमें पता होनी चाहिए फर्स्ट इज द सेवेंटी थर्ड एंड सेवेंटी फोर्थ अमेंडमेंट टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन उसके थ्रू वी हैड अ फॉर्मलाइज सिस्टम ऑफ थ्री और थर्ड tier of governance okay what did this do it created panchayats and municipalities okay Now what you need to know is ये तो ठीक है चलो सेवेंटी थर्ड सेवेंटी फोर्थ अमेंडमेंट एक्ट तो आर्टिकल में ही मैंशन है बट हमें क्या पता होना चाहिए सो फर्स्ट वॉट पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आर दिस प्रोवाइडेड अंडर ओके सो सबसे पहले पार्ट नाइन टॉक्स अबाउट पंचायत ओरिजिनली पार्ट नाइन वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट वॉज नॉट क्रिएटेड अलग से ठीक है ओरिजिनली भी सिर्फ पंचायत के बारे में मैंशन था but it was only in definition koi real powers ya structure of panchayat exist nahi karta tha then in 1991 we got an amendment pv narsimha rao was the prime minister and he formally adopted the structure of panchayats so we added article 243a till 243o those deal with panchayats and the next thing that was added was municipalities so municipalities did not exist originally in the constitution they were added so part 9a of the constitution deals with municipalities ye baat aapko note karni hai all right as per your constitution right ab do you need to remember all the articles here no there are couple of articles that you have to keep in mind article 243a which talks about gram sabha okay gram sabha is everyone above the age of 18 in a area of panchayat okay then we have municipalities municipalities are under what article 243p that defines the municipalities okay so part and the two articles this is important then the next thing that you have to keep in mind is the powers that they have okay so uske liye there is another body of the constitution that we need to be aware of which is article 280 which is the finance commission finance commission is a constitutional body okay 
that is the nature of finance commission however finance commission's recommendation are not binding so over years finance commission has recommended ki the funding of our city councils or municipalities ya nagar nigam should be increased but that has not been done ek aur cheez jo hame note karni hai under the constitution are the two schedules related to panchayats what are they 11th schedule of the constitution and the 12th schedule of the constitution 11th one deals with panchayats 12th one deals with municipalities okay those are the two things that you uh, two schedules that you need to remember for your constitution provisions related to this article now within the article there is one more thing that is pointed out ki prior to gst most of the funding of our cities used to come from a concept known as obertrai okay obertrai ya yeah, it is basically goods ki entry or exit ko tax karna theek hai but now we have gst so we have done away with this system and we now rely on central गवर्नमेंट की ग्रांट या स्टेट गवर्नमेंट का कोई प्रोजेक्ट फॉर अर्बन डेवलपमेंट द आर्टिकल स्टेट्स की दिस हैज टू गो अवे वी नीड टू हैव कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव पॉलिसीज फॉर अर्बन डेवलपमेंट बाय 2030 और 2040 50 परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया पॉपुलेशन विल लिव इन अर्बन एरियाज दे कैन नॉट वर्क ऑन ग्रांट्स बेसिस दे हैव टू हैव देयर इंडिपेंडेंट रिसोर्सेज दे हैव टू हैव इंडिपेंडेंट पॉलिसी मेकिंग which the article discusses okay that's all that we need to know if you have to note about the 73rd it is mentioned here also so constitution was amended 73rd 74th amendment all right that's all that we have then we move on to the other pages so on the right hand side many problems of online anonymity online anonymity is for example a lot of you do not use original names for your social media handles so, like in youtube also so, so many of you who are watching are not using their original name now that is misused for use in for example in terms of spreading fake news or targeting individuals so all of this so this is discussing the problem of that then on the right hand side a dangerous precedent this is about holding the budget before assembly polls see the government in power is also a political party at the end of the day and budget can be used to serve your political interest which have historically been done and are will continue to be done as a citizen whenever you are talking about or if there is an opposition so derek o'brien is from tmc he is in opposition he is talking about how this practice should now be done away with where the government gets a chance to actually give out s sops to different state governments wherever elections are due so until 2017 hamara budget february last mein hota tha ab it will happen on february 1 since 2017 what this has done is ki now it provides chance to the union government to use the union budget for sops to the different states wherever they will have elections because february 1 ki date ke hisab se there are usually no state assemblies that will go for elections so this is talking about a dangerous precedent historically this was not done in 2012 arun jetli who was the then leader of opposition who changed the system in 2017 had objected in 2012 that how can union government present a budget when elections are due in a state all right so this is how politics changes when people come in power so it is talking about this what we have to remember hamara union budget february 1 ko aayega aur us din we will discuss a lot of things important okay then caste calculus in up up elections are related not relevant then celestial flyby okay if you had clear sky in your area you could have seen this asteroid 7482 pass by the earth on january 18 i have a lot of light pollution in my city so it's impossible to even see normal constellations leave alone a asteroid okay 
सो दीज आर डिफरेंट फ्लाई बाइज दैट हैव हैपेंड अक्रॉस इट इज ऑलवेज बिलीव कि कोई एस्ट्रॉयड आएगा विल हिट अर्थ एंड ह्यूम विल डाई ओके सो इट्स अबाउट दैट देन वी कम वन बिग न्यूज ऑफ द डे is no foreign dignitary as chief guest because of rising covid cases it was held ki it is not safe to invite our chief guest for the year who were going to be our five chief guest the five central asian leaders okay so but now they will be participating in a virtual session okay so who all will be or had been invited president of kazakhstan kyrgyzstan tajikistan turkmenistan and uzbekistan in sab ke naam aapko pata hone chahiye all right president kasim jumar tokayev sadar japarov imoli roman of tajikistan gurbangli and uh, shavkat mirziyoyev from uzbekistan all right so if my pronunciation of russian goes wrong i am very apologetic but i am not that proficient in the language okay but the name of the five presidents and the country you have to remember last year also we did not have a foreign dignitary as chief guest because of covid cases all right so british prime minister boris johnson was supposed to come but he could not come okay that's the information you have to remember all right ki kaun si five countries hai who will be attending then we come apart from this on the front on the national news nothing of note for us supreme court to consider listing plea to discard evms wants a return to ballot papers it has now been believed ki because of electronic tampering evms are no more safe and they can be easily changed or tampered with and thus demand have regularly started ki we should now discard evms how feasible it is to hold elections this easy is very difficult to note okay but not relevant for us as of now then we come more national news uh, nothing of note here then this news okay full market approval for vaccines recommended expert committee suggests upgrade right now most of the vaccines in the world have been given something known as eul emergency use listing okay so in india who makes the recommendation for approval of vaccines and their state the body that you have to note central drug standard control organization cs cdsco unka naam aapko you have to remember okay and right now all our vaccines are on eul listing okay both covid shield and covaxin the demand is ki it should be done away with from limited restricted use emergency listing to a proper vaccine listing that's the highlight that has been made the name of the organization and the status of vaccine is something you have to remember all right then we come a uh, hate speech nothing of note taliban seeks muslim nations recommend recognition no country has officially recognized taliban as a government of afghanistan since august 15 the country exists on the map but nobody has formal relationship with the government of taliban in afghanistan okay so that there has now been a demand by taliban that see at least the muslim countries should recognize us which is the demand of their current prime minister hasan akhur countries have not recognized afghanistan because no security arrangements have been announced that they can ensure ki no terrorist launch pads will be there from their country their territory will not be used for abuse of rights of individual a non representative taliban is non acceptable to the world that is the key issue then on the right hand side is israel to probe pegasus spy allegations the pegasus software which is created by a firm of israel that is nso group for on this we have done two youtube videos all right if you are someone who has absolutely no idea what pegasus is i highly recommend that you should go and watch it i will share the link of the pegasus videos immediately in the telegram group 
I will also comment them on the video of this. I highly recommend all of you to watch those videos to understand. Pegasus is a software that can be used to hack into your phones. It has been claimed that it was used in India also. The Supreme Court has appointed a committee that is investigating exactly those allegations. In Israel, the government has similarly opened an inquiry if Pegasus was used against opposition leaders in Israel also. That's the investigation that will now be done. Benjamin Netanyahu, who was then the then Prime Minister of Israel, is supposed to have done it. Okay. UK boost military aid to Kiev asks Russia to choose peaceful path. So, while Russia pressurizes the Western countries, Western countries are also on a daily basis coming to assistance of Kiev. So, this is common posturing. We do not have to focus on day-to-day -day updates about this crisis. CLAD ke exam mein hume Russia, Ukraine, NATO ki conflict pe aise likhne ko nahi manga jayega. So you can avoid reading on it on a daily basis also. Okay, then we come on economic side. India's oil production continues to decline the total domestic oil produce. Nothing of note. Then for the first time since 1979, okay, India is hosting the female Asia Cup of football, which is the primary nation's cup in Asian football. So India will play against Iran today. This is the women's Asian or AFC Asian Cup have host, being hosted in India after 1979 for the first time. Okay, then India lost the first uh, ODI match. Nothing of note in that. Okay, then we come. Microsoft strides into gaming metaverse. So Microsoft has acquired a new company known as Activision Blizzard who have uh, originally been creating a lot of video games. A lot of you must have played some or the other character game of uh, Activision Blizzard. Some famous labels if you were into computer gaming you must have played. So they have bought this. They Microsoft already hosts the Mo second most important gaming console of the world which is the Xbox. So gaming universe is seen as the place where metaverse or virtual reality can be actually capitalized upon right that in games only you can actually feel the metaverse or a virtual verse or you will want to play it there all right see gaming should be becoming more realistic that's the demand so Microsoft purchasing it would release it as a place to establish or extend its overall influence then rising tensions in the Balkans once again what is the Balkan region let's delete all of this and Balkans is the area here okay this part of Europe is known as the Balkans Okay, this northern uh, eastern Europe is known as Balkans. It is Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania and this part of the Europe also, alright, on the east of Italy. So, Belarus, Ukraine were historically part of Russian influence. The areas that were outside it, okay, they are known as the Balkans. Now, the size of the Balkans is very small all right compare it to the size of India it's a uh, it's relatively smaller in size of India also but there are a lot of ethnic communities who live here all right earlier all of this was part of one large country that was Yugoslavia then that broke down and the demand for further disintegration so balkanization is has become a term for disintegration of different nations. So, if you come across the word balkanization, it means division of country on basis of 
एथनिक आइडेंटिटी ऑल राइट दैट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बॉल्कनाइजेशन दिस is what the news is about the rising tensions in the balkans is bosnia at a verge of a civil war what is threatening the peace in the multi ethnic region india se zyada ethnicity kisi country mein exist nahi karti right in a common country also within re hindu religion we have different sects within that we have different caste within caste we have different communities but there is a common linkage that all of us believe that we are indians first none of this sentiment has historically existed with the ethnicities or communities in the balkan region and that has proliferated into division of the country further and further all right so now the news is that the country here in central all right they are on the verge of further disintegration okay that one of the countries bosnia Bosnia and Herzegovina is located exactly here this red territory all right left of serbia right of italy is the bosnia and herzegovina so now by their name bosnia and herzegovina that's the name of the country is the country getting divided into bosnia and herzegovina separately that is the claim that is happening the current bosnian serb leader milorad dodik is he the one who is going to lead the country to that will there be militant civil war recently there was a civil war most recently in 20, 2009 okay that happened in kosovo okay for the freedom of kosovo usse pehle there have been other balkanization of the balkans all right post second world war this has been a continuous progress of balkanization so until and unless i as from my understanding until and unless all these ethnic communities create their own separate nations this will continue to happen because these countries have no concept of equality or equal treatment kyunki after every conflict they fail to understand that if you do not provide someone with equal treatment they are bound to secede from you why did bangladesh secede from west pakistan because the urdu speaking majority was not giving space to the bengali speaking muslims of east pakistan so they separated if the principle that has held our country together is equality and equal treatment yahan pe this is missing all right so this is is it going to happen kind of scenario rising tensions in balkans hame concept pata hona chahiye aapko geographical area ka idea hona chahiye just in case the conflict actually becomes something jab tak kuch banega nahi tab tak us pe question nahi banta hai kyunki generally is area mein tensions hai so us hisab se to hame puri world history padhni chahiye but hum nahi padhte hai right in our exam also we do not study the entire world history precisely because it is not something that has actually happened so unless something actually happens we will not bother because us keeps on imposing sanctions on different countries at different point of time so if sanctions was the idea of current affair questions then the entire world history will be relevant which is not so you can avoid that all right with this on the last page of the newspaper here's why electoral bonds must go they hide or mask the basic tenant of right to know electoral pehle kya tha 20000 se upar ka cash donation jo bhi hota tha uske andar you had to disclose who has donated money to the political party fir usko amend kiya gaya after 2014 to 2000 rupaye so 2000 rupaye se upar aap koi bhi cash donation deta hai kisi bhi political party ko so they had to disclose but in 2018 union government came out with a scheme known as electoral bonds ab is scheme mein kya hota hai you go to the state bank of india election se pehle aap jaoge bank mein bank mein bonds hote hain 50 lakh se 2 crore rupaye tak ke aap wo bond kharidoge 
let's say I purchased a bond of 50 lakh from SBI and then gave it to a political party, let's say uh, AA, A triple A party, okay? मैंने उनको दे दिया neither do they have to disclose neither do I have to disclose कि मैंने अपनी इनकम का 50 लाख रुपए एक पॉलिटिकल पार्टी को दे दिया obviously if I give money to a political party and let's say I am a businessman I would want the policies of mine to be implemented वो चीज इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड से मास्क हो जाती है so anyone can pay anything whatever be the amount without actually affecting the knowledge so voters never come to know who is funding the political party so if let's say you believe ki private companies are taking away your jobs but the party that you vote for is being funded by the private company that is taking away your jobs then even if you vote for the political party no real change will happen because they will be indebted to people who fund fund their election campaigns is wajay se in us you have to disclose if you get money from private political parties ya bahar ke log all right so the key is you have to focus the electoral bond scheme ke baare mein this is it's an old article which was written last year about right to know electoral bonds har saal election se pehle it the concept of electoral bonds highlight hota hai but uske upar supreme court ne karwai nahi kari hai all right uh, one question sir in today's in there was news about devas antriksh dead uh, and are we supposed to know, do that? Deva's Antriksh deal ke upar, there has now been, the Indian government will now take further action against the investors of Deva's. Okay, so as things stand, there is further litigation going to happen in that dispute. What you need to know about it is ki Antriksh was an arm of ISRO, there was a contract, the contract failed. Devas is believed to have committed fraud with the Indian government. Okay, that's the key about this. All right, as things stand, there is further clarity that needs to come. Abhi, the deal had been off since 2011. Se deal hai. Now the company has been wound up. Wound up, matlab, unko pack up karke, unke assets jo hai, wo antriks ko provide kare jayenge, ya ISRO will take over those assets. Theek hai? But uske andar, there is nothing of note. Humne uske baare mein already baat pichle hafte kari thi when I had talked about NSIL and Antriksh. So in last week's newspaper analysis only I had explained you about what we need to know about Antriksh. So with this we conclude our today's newspaper analysis. Alright. What do we need to note in today's newspaper? Sabse pehli baat constitution ke articles jo maine bataye hai. Okay. That's the key part of the article today. Then Supreme Court's ex gratia payment to COVID deceased families. Bhuvan sir, har news ka static portion kitna deep karna hota hai. Jitna mene bataya na, jaysay aaj ek article humne kiya, uske upar constitution ke articles te. Ab ye static GK bhi ho sakti hai. Usi tarike se Russia ke baare mein humne baat kari, humne 1991 USSR disintegration. Balkans ki baat kari, to mene aapko Yugoslavia ke baare mein bataya. So, utna hi question hota hai. Ab puri ki puri history, shuru se khatam tak we will not ask, alright? To help you further, Note what is important. We will be doing a quiz. Her rose now after the newspaper analysis. Pichle din ke newspaper ka quiz I will conduct on the Unacademy special app. Okay. As a special class. Which will help you retain ki kya kya important tha. Jo jo cheez mene aapko jaysay aaj ke newspaper ki I have told you. Ki constitution ke articles hai. Ex gratia payment hai. Then Russia defensive aggression ठीक है उनकी policy of defensive aggression है and we talked about Yugoslavia okay तो अब उसके उपर कैसे prepare करना है we will be doing the questions on the next day 
ऑल राइट इमीडिएटली आपकी क्लास का फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन एवरी डे टू हेल्प यू इंश्योर कि आपको याद रहे आपने कल क्या पढ़ा था आप ये इंश्योर कर मैं ये समझ पा रहा हूँ कि आप वो रिटेन कर रहे हो कि नहीं द लिंक टू दिस क्लास विल बी इन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप एंड द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो हर रोज आई विल डू इट टू हेल्प यू ऑल इंश्योर कि आप लोग रिविजन ढंग से कर रहे हो कि नहीं ऑल राइट सो मेक श्योर की यू डू दैट अटेंड द क्विज अभी एट वन फिफ्टीन ओके ऑन दैट नोट स्पेशल क्लासेस क्या होती है स्पेशल क्लास में आप हाथ खड़ा करके यू कैन आस्क मी क्वेश्चन वर्बली प्लस क्लास के नोट्स आपको प्लेटफॉर्म के थ्रू इमीडिएटली मिल जाते हैं एंड लास्टली इन क्लासेस को आप कितनी भी बार कहीं भी अटेंड कर सकते हो ऑल राइट प्लस वेन एवर यू आर एट अन अकेडमी ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म वी ऑल्सो कंडक्ट अ वीकली टी ट्वेंटी टेस्ट सो आज का टेस्ट विल बी अबाउट लीगल एप्टीट्यूड ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन ऑन लीगल and this saturday there will be the an academy law aptitude test which will be a half test but if you are looking for dedicated preparation ki ek batch mein ek ghante mein mera sara syllabus complete ho jaye to for that i am taking a gk course which is monday to friday at 10 pm you can use the code kushgk to subscribe and enroll in that course now when you enroll you can either choose between plus courses or our iconic program under iconic program you will get access to 10 minute mentor sessions one on one sessions if you take a 3 month subscription you will get 18 sessions if you take 12 month subscription you will get 72 sessions now what is the difference in iconic you get live mentorship plus priority in raising doubts and live doubt solving classes all right separate classes will be held for you for doubt solving now why should you do it immediately is because the prices of our subscriptions are about to go up immediately and this time until 25th january we are running a special offer that is kyunki aapka clat ka exam pass mein if you take 3 month subscription you will get 1 month extra if you get take a 12 month subscription you will get 2 months extra so this will cover for clat 2022 students this is like the best offer you can get all right on that note you can use the code kushgk to subscribe and get a 10% discount on your subscriptions there are four new batches excel law on 28 january master law on 27 january let's crack clat for 2023 aspirants which begins tomorrow and a batch for alet examination that began on january 19 so if you are someone who has not yet subscribed or does not have details of the class join the telegram channel that is kushagra goel the legal game underscore anacat see you all at 115 on the special class the link is in the description box if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends if you have friends who also are preparing and need to know about the constitution articles and balkanization on that note thank you so much everyone see you all at 115 for the quiz